SpongeBob. I wonder what it tastes like. Water. <laughs> I drank it all up on the way home from the walking trail this morning. They give me an opportunity to show you that you want to fill it up to where there's the least amount of air inside as possible. Now there'll be an air bubble just because of the the void in the cap, but that shouldn't hurt anything. Let me show you how to make a solar ignition with a smart water bottle. I want to ignite some punk wood, some char cloth, and some charred punk wood. All right, let me show you how to focus in this focal point. The photons will come down through this round, go through about five inches of water, come out this round, and be concentrated on my finger. I'm going to be tilting the top of the bottle towards the sun. And it's going to look like this, the focal point. Always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. And that's probably too bright to show up very clearly on video. Here's another good clear side on this smart water bottle. Tilt it towards the sun, right there. Choose the darkest piece of punkwood that you have. And that clear side is here, tilt it towards the sun. Find it on your finger first. And this is about 11 o'clock sun. Whoa. That's hot enough to ignite it. Starting to smoke. good punk wood is going to hold that ember. That's the beauty of punk wood. It's easy to ignite, will hold an ember for a long time, and when you get ready to go for the flames, you can aerate it into an intense ember. And I have some pine needles here. Let's go ahead and break it a little bit. I'll put some powdered punk wood in the bottom Put this ignited punk wood on top. Not that hard to use a smart water bottle to solar ignite punk wood and get your pine needles started. So you can imagine how easy the charred punk wood's going to be. Now in this bright sunlight, the only way that you can tell you have ignition is when the focal point gets very, very bright because that is the focal point reflecting off all that ash.
And we'll finish off with some char cloth. You can imagine how easy that's going to be. This is a good time if you have some pieces of char cloth that's a little bit brittle, a little bit hard, this is the time to go ahead and use it up. All right, y'all, do me a favor now. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.